have a slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness CBS The Bold and Beautiful Spoils reveals that Sheila's dead, but most people don't believe it Based on what has happened in the past, we understand how cutting and intelligent Sheila is. And now the police force and the townspeople are looking for her very hard. That's why Sheila would not want to act this stressful. The best way to defuse the situation is to make everyone believe that Sheila is dead, and then wait for the opportunity to return for revenge. Sheila's corpse is not intact and based on DNA results alone can still be faked. It's possible that Sheila arranged to leave her hair and blood at the scene in case others are suspected. After all, where is Sheila hiding now? And where would she come back for revenge? Sheila's top target is probably Steffi or Brooke. These two are the cause of all Sheila's troubles, so she won't be able to let them have a peaceful life. Sheila can't act alone. There's so much work to be done that Sheila alone won't be able to do it all. The person who's able to help Sheila without notifying the police would be Deacon. In fact, Sheila reacted and reached out to Deacon while she was being searched by Deputy Sheriff Baker. Sheila tried to convince Deacon to join her plan, but Deacon refused. Maybe Deacon is hesitating because he's trying to be a better man in his daughter's eyes, but there are rumors that it was Deacon who assisted Sheila in her plan to fake her death because in that case Sheila could only go to Deacon and not anyone else. Deacon seemed to have been unable to bear it and was persuaded by Sheila, and Sheila would hit Deacon's soft side and say she would do anything just to get her son. Elsewhere, Steffi and Finn are having a pretty happy time. Sheila is the one who has brought so much trouble to this couple. And when Sheila dies, the two will have more opportunities to mend their feelings. However, it seems that Steffi still can't believe that truth about Sheila's death, but she doesn't tell Finn about her suspicions. Steffi quietly investigates Sheila's death because there are so many questionable points that need to be cleared up. Detective Sanchez said that Sheila's body was now intact when it was found by police. Steffi assumed that Sheila had not taken someone's body and replaced it. Then she would leave her hair and bled to full the DNA testing department. If so, then Steffi was sure Sheila was hiding somewhere. She must find Sheila and defeat Sheila before she can seek revenge. Of course, Steffi will act in silence because she's afraid Finn will interfere with this plan.